He stood in a throne room glittering with splendor. It was the tallest room he had ever seen. The six enormous pillars supporting the roof had a living brobding Nagian serpent twisting around it. He turned, and like the poppy field, the room of doors had vanished. He walked into a grotesque crowd. The room was a clutter of unruly mutterings. The ugly ladies all had tallow, elongated faces with indifferent lips. He felt a great unease. A gong sounded, and the room came to a standstill. Everywhere there was the swishing of capes and tails as everybody started to kneel. He complied. As each head was ceremoniously pressed against the bloodstone floor, he heard a shrill voice booming from above. He took a peek and saw an enormous figure. It was the Queen of the Underworld talking to her flatterers. was a sensual nymph in nylons. On her head sat the infamous orb of her magic. As the stones dazzled, she spoke. Good evening, you worthy band of sinners. Tonight, we celebrate a double pleasure. My friends from above have informed me of the king's death. Yes. Finally, not even Owen could combat my magic. This was a delectable delicacy for my birthday. <laughs> a treat I'll not forget. So, make your way to the golden room of contentment and enjoy the debauched star-studded show. And she disappeared with not a puff of smoke to see. <laughs> Thank you.